Hello, and welcome to the Non-League Football Channel. I'd appreciate if you could give the video a thumbs up and share if you're enjoying the content. We're on to round four of the National League, and we had some absolute belters this weekend. Yeovil were denied their first win of the season thanks to a late strike for Altrincham in a draw at the J. Davidson Stadium. The visitors were quick out the traps and went 1-0 ahead in the ninth minute when Malachi Linton finished from Matt Worthington. Altrinum levelled six minutes before the break when Tobias Malarkey finished superbly at the back post across goal. Yeovil regained their lead with 20 minutes to go with Gim Torre scoring his first goal for the club. The Robins searched for an equaliser and got their reward when Kadja grabbed the last minute leveller on his debut for the club. Barnet remained top of the league after they ran out winners over Woking. Neither side threatened much in the first half but the visitors almost broke the deadlock in the 43rd minute when Laurie Walker spilled into danger, the ball being scrambled away by the Bees defence. Barnet went ahead two minutes later when de Havilland smashed his effort into the net via the post. The Bees doubled their advantage eight minutes from time, with Winter heading home across from the left for his first goal for the club. South End won for the first time this season, as Oldham's difficult start to the season continued with a defeat at Roots Hall. Dan Mooney beat Lactic's goalkeeper Magnus Norman from 18 yards after 30 minutes to register his first goal for the Shrimpers. Callum Powell almost doubled the lead when his shot squeezed under the keeper, but it did not have enough power to creep over the line. Tollett went close to a second-half equaliser, but his shot was pushed around the post. Oldham finished the game with 10 men after Liam Hogan was injured and Oldham had made all their substitutions. A Paul Mullins hat-trick saw Wrexham run out 5-0 against newly promoted Maidstone United. His header put the hose ahead, before Jordan Davis and Dominic Odusana on goal extended their lead. Mullin scored his second from the penalty spot before completing his hat-trick with a fine individual goal. Both Threxham and Maidstone went into this game at the race course with identical records, a win, a draw and a defeat following their opening three games. However, the difference between the two sides was clear to see. With Mullin's hat-trick, his first for the club, the cherry on top of a superb team performance. Bromley made it two wins on the bounce as Rhys Hannum's early strike secured a win over Aldershot. The visitors made the breakthrough in the 10th minute, Hannum slotting his first goal in Bromley colours beyond Luca Ashby Hammond. Bromley could have made it two on the hour mark but Michael Cheek's effort went over the bar. Aldershot searched for the equaliser but Bromley held firm for their second straight win while Aldershot remained third from bottom. Dagenham earned their first win of the season by beating Maidenhead 1-0. Paul McCallum scored the only goal in the 28th minute, slotting the ball past Daniel Villani from Mo Sagaf's low cross. Dan Sparks went close for Maidenhead, but his free kick was saved by Elliot Justin. McCallum had two chances to extend their lead just after the break, while Maidenhead had another chance in stoppage time with a header, but Justin made the save to seal the three points for the Daggers. A double from James McShane made it back-to-back -back wins for Dorking as they beat Gateshead. Dorking took the lead in the 18th minute with McShane stabbing home across. McShane doubled the lead three minutes later, firing the ball into the top corner from outside the area. Gateshead had a chance when Paul Blackett's header flew just wide. Dan Ward nearly scored just after half-time, but Slav Hook made the stop and the goalkeeper then saved Owen Bailey's header. Campbell eventually pulled one back for the visitors, tucking the ball home from close range in the 70th minute. Wanderers move up to six, while the Heed are still searching for their first win of the season. Alex Reed scored a last-minute winner for Solihull as they came back from three goals behind to beat Scunthorpe. Scunthorpe took the lead after ten minutes, Joe Nuttall lubbing the keeper. The Iron doubled their lead just three minutes later when Nuttall teed up Colin Daniel, who slotted home in the bottom corner, and Nuttall then scored his second of the game in the 36th minute, lifting the ball over Molden. Solihull pulled one back in the 41st minute when Jamie Osborne fired into the bottom corner from 25 yards out. Keeler headed home three minutes later to keep the game alive. Moores equalised 
in the eight second minute when Andrew Dallas took the ball home and Alex Reeve found the winner four minutes from the final whistle, smashing the ball into the top corner to complete the comeback. Jamal Fifield's early strike gave Boreham Wood victory at Torquay. He was left unmarked at the far post to divert Will Evans' third minute shot into the goal's net. Torquay had a golden chance to equalise after the ball ricocheted around the Boreham Wood box. Torquay goalkeeper Mark Helstead produced a fine stave to stop Tyrone Marsh's volley as the visitors climbed into the playoff positions with a second win from four games. Wilston continued their impressive start to the season with a win over Goldshy Halifax. Reese Brown slotted home Max Kretschmar's pass five minutes before half-time, his third goal of the season, as Wilston climbed to second in the table. Kretschmar had early fired over after being freed by Dominic Hutchinson. Halifax have yet to score this season and remain rooted to the bottom of the table with one point from four games. On loan Watford midfielder JJ McKernan's first goal for Eastleigh gave them victory at York. The 20-year-old headed home from a corner three minutes before half-time. York thought they had scored an equaliser before the break when the ball was bundled in from a corner, but the referee ruled Eastleigh keeper Joe McDonnell had been impeded. In the second minute of added time, the host headed inches wide from another set-piece as Eastleigh held on for a second win of the season, which lifted them into the top half of the table. Macaulay Longstaff scored twice in less than four minutes to salvage a draw for Nuts County against Chesterfield. The Spyrites looked to be cruising towards a comfortable victory after Mandeville's 16th minute goal was followed by a neat turn and powerful strike from Asante 10 minutes into the second half. However, Langstaff, who scored two on the opening day, pulled one back with a predatory finish on the hour and then converted a close range header moments later. The result means Chesterfield slipped to fourth after Wheelston and Solihull both won earlier in the day, while County a tenth. Looking a bit closer at the table, obviously Barnet are now top with Bromley just behind them. Um, yeah, good start to the season for them. Um, looking a bit further down the table, Scunthorpe, Aldershot, Yeovil and Halifax, both in the all in the relegation zone. Um, Halifax are having a very poor start to the season. Just can't seem to buy a goal. Thank you very much for watching. Um, also, if you were at any of these matches, please leave a comment below and I'll see you soon for more.